This is a demonstration of the Stream Views plugin, also known as the Individual Cutscene plugin. The purpose of this plugin is to allow the GM to send cutscenes to individual players as opposed to having to have all the players share the cutscene. Now, a side uh, benefit of this is that if you are a GM who streams um, the game online, you can use this to um, add some additional connections into your game and put those feeds into your stream to see the action from various um, angles. So, how does it work? <clears throat> As a GM, you can choose any kind, uh, kind of view that uh, you want. You can prepare that. And then uh, use the hotkey to save that uh, view to the view list. Okay, um, we can see that I just saved this. It told me that it saved it in slot six because I already had some views set up. And now that view is, uh, is saved. Now it hasn't sent that to anybody. It's now saved similar to how the cutscenes work. Um, you can define many more of these views, um, totally up to you. Um, I decided to make the um, adding of a view uh, just a keyboard uh, operation, so it's quick and easy to do. You don't need to open up the, the, um, the menu in order to do that. So <clears throat> once we have our uh, views defined, we can open up the plugin menu, and we can see a few things. First of all, we can see all of the views that we have already um, created. Uh, we can see uh, empty slots for um, additional views that can be created. And then we have the cutscene operations menu. Um, this menu will list all of the players. It will list uh, camera persons, which I will discuss in a moment. And it has also the option for deleting um, the uh, view. <clears throat> you can see that the um, whatever view you, you want to uh, do something with is selected with a lovely fiery um, border. Um, and you can see that when you create the cutscenes, it has nice uh, screenshots of whatever that scene represents, so it's easy to find. So now, if you were using this just for uh, doing individual cutscenes to different players, uh, it's not a problem. You'll have all of your players listed here, and you would just select the view, and you would select the player uh, name that you want to send it to. Um, if you want to send it to multiple people, it's very easy. You can just go click, 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 um, and send it to multiple people. Uh, now, the complication comes in for streamers. Some GMs like to stream their uh, game online, and typically they would like to get some additional views of the action uh, that may not correspond to the GM's view or the player's view, but some additional view. So this plugin can support that. Um, but where does the complication come in? Well, if you are using multiple connections from the same account in Tailspire, Tailspire sees that as one player, but multiple connections from that player. That would mean that um, it would be very hard to choose one of those connections because they would all show up as the same name. So to accommodate for that, um, the plugin uses a concept of identity. By default, your identity is your name, but you can change that to a camera person so that you can then be addressed as a camera person. So for example, <clears throat> we can go to our second session here, our non-GM, and we can use the key keyboard hotkey to now set the role as camera person one. So now, even though this session is also a Lord Ashes account, uh, the identity has now set, been set to camera person one, and that's what these uh, selections here are for. There's a, up to three uh, camera persons uh, currently available. And if I select um, camera person one, instead of being sent to a player, it will look for the um, connection that is called camera person one and send it there, as we can demonstrate here. So you can see, uh, just click the button. And this view has now been 
uh, sent to the uh, account that was uh, identified as camera person one. Uh, now there is a limitation and that is that at the moment the camera will move and rotate but currently it does not automatically focus. So um, there is a setting for the plugin that you can turn on or off and that is if you want the post processing turned on or off. Uh, post processing is what does all the cool stuff like make things uh, blurry and make things disappear um, at uh, certain distances and, and so on, uh, which adds atmosphere, but it has the problem that then you could be looking at something that is out of focus. So if you turn the post processing off, uh, that's what we're seeing here. You can see that the colors are slightly different, and, um, but now everything is in focus. Uh, when you leave cutscene view, um, it will automatically return back to what the player was looking at and will uh, turn your post-processing on or off uh, based on what the setting was before the cutscene was displayed. So yeah, that's uh, basically it. Uh, um, we can select any, uh, any of the views and hit delete to delete them. Um, and currently there is a limit of 16 views uh, that you can obviously replace at uh, any time. So a GM can set up up to 16 views uh, ahead of time, but there's nothing preventing the GM during the game to replace any of those views for uh, even more uh, power. And that's pretty well it.